Welcome back. Next video is as promised. We are going to mount the plow on this Grizzly 350. And um, the plow is going to be raised and lowered by the winch. And if you want to go back and see the video of when I first purchased this four wheeler and fixed the winch, um, the link will be in the description. So um, let's go take a look at the plow. Here's the plow. So we're going to put on the four wheeler and we need to do a tiny bit of modification. The uh, lifting hook broke off so I need to weld that back on which uh, won't be a big deal and um, we'll get this thing on the on the four wheeler. Let's go um, let's let's mount the um, frame plate. I ordered a, a frame mount for the plow um, and the reason why I did that I was thinking about fabricating it myself um, but after I thought about thought about it you know I have to go and source a piece of steel uh, I need a plate because you need something that's going to mount in four different spots because you want it solid in case the plow catches something you don't want to be ripping and tearing stuff underneath so you need a pretty stout piece of plate steel um, so between sourcing that, uh, the U-bolts that I'm probably going to need for it, and um, any other hardware, uh, my time running around trying to get all this stuff up, and then welding it together. Um, I just assumed went and bought one. I bought this on eBay, and it's by Moose Utility Division, and I think that's a division of Moose Racing, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. And this is the actual mount itself. So this was 80 bucks, and I gotta be quite honest with you. Um, probably would've cost me the same between time, materials, um, as it to build, as it would to buy. Um, and this already comes painted and everything, so let's take a look at it. So as far as I'm concerned, this was an absolute win. I would much rather buy it already done and save myself from having to do all that stuff. So let's take a peek at it. comes with the directions on how to mount it and you can see that plate it's good size um, I think that cutout on the bottom is so that you can change the oil without having to remove the plate um, which is another reason why I decided to purchase one rather than make one and these are the models that this plate fit and the uh, 07 to 13 Grizzly 350 is on here so we have that we have mounting hardware, which are the U-bolts and lock nuts and washers, which is good. And here's the plate itself, and it is made out of some pretty, pretty, pretty thick stuff. And you can see, it looks like it took a, took a bit of a dent in shipping. That's okay. I mean, this is pretty stout stuff. And these are the mounts that are on the plow itself. I took them off um, because this, the, the nuts and bolts that were in there were, were loose and I couldn't tighten them anymore because they were rusty. And as I, when I tried to tighten them, they just both snapped. So I had, a, I had this, this bolt and this um, nylon nut laying around, which is a perfect fit. So we'll use that. And then for this one, I had a piece of all thread couple of nuts and uh, pair of lock washers and that's going to be perfectly fine for what we need so what this does I guess is it mounts right in here and you just use pins quick release pins so let's mount this this frame onto that right now
There we have it. Got the U-bolts in, it's pretty tight. It's not going anywhere. I don't think you'd want a full wheel with this like that, because these are gonna catch on stuff, but for plowing, it should be perfectly fine, and that's all I'm using this for anyway. And uh, we could put the frame mounts in here. It looks like it might be bowed quite a bit here. So hopefully, we'll still fit. All right, let's, um, let's move on to the plow. All right, let's mount these on. And I just want to double check to make sure I get them on the right way. But we're looking at seven inches or so. So if I put this on here, this on here, we're looking at about eight inches. This way, it's five inches, not enough. So they definitely go on. All right, before I torque these down, they have an adjustment where I can switch these to the other side and have them in further so that the plow isn't sticking out as far on the four-wheeler. So what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to pull the four-wheel up, put it in the, um, in the mount, and uh, see how far out it's, it's sticking out. All right, I have it hooked up. I got another bolt on one side and I actually found the um, quick release pin. It was on the plow itself. Um, I probably should get another one, but it's fine for now. You can see that it hangs pretty low, so you obviously wouldn't be able to do anything with this but plow while the plow's on it. So it looks good. What I wanna do now is I'll set you up in a stand and I'm gonna weld the lift hook back on and see what it looks like. Uh, I just clean the rust off of this thing so we can get a good contact for a weld. Should use a grinding wheel, but I think this is fine. And I hit this on the, on the um, wire wheel. I should hold it.
right, let's put the, uh, the hook on. See what happens. There we go. That's it. Looks pretty good. So there's a pin that allows for like it's frozen solid. So we're gonna have to lube that up. Let me get some lube. Let's put a little bit on there. And when I mean a little, when I say a little bit, it's a little bit because the can's empty. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Well it seems to be working pretty good. I think that'll be good. Probably just need to be interfering with the wheels. Good. Turning the wheel, doesn't seem to hit. I think we're in good shape. All right, guys. That's it. That's how you put a plow on a Yamaha Grizzly 350. So to give you guys a idea of what I'm into this thing for, I bought that plow off Facebook Marketplace. He wanted 150 bucks for it. I gave him 120. And I'm uh, sorry. He went 150 for it. I offered him 130. He said yes. I went there. All I had was 20, so I ended up paying 140 for it, um, which is fine. I'm still happy with that. Um, it's a decent blade for the money. Can't complain. Um, the mount itself cost me another 80 bucks. We're looking at about 220 bucks, if my math is correct, for a functioning four-wheel drive plow vehicle. I guess you want to call it. Um, so we're gonna give this thing a shot. Let's went there and see what happens. Hopefully it works well. Um, if not, I still have my snowblower, uh, which I need my snowblower for my walkways anyways because this is too big to get on my walkways. And um, we'll give it a shot. So I'll have some video coming on this this winter of me actually using this in the driveway. And um, yeah, came out good, I'm happy with it. So what I wanna do is thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, share, comment um i've been getting a lot of a lot of uh, good comments from people as of late um good interactions back and forth um i want to i want to thank everyone who has been commenting um keep it up uh, i enjoy the feedback and if you guys do see something that you think i did wrong again comment give me the feedback i'd love to hear it and um yeah so i guess i'll at this point i'm gonna sign off 
And I'm thank everybody for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.